So I'll go ahead and. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, you supported Governor Van, uh, Sandoval's marginal tax. I did. And you have a uh, deep reservoir of uh, funding from major unions. How do you think unionization and the marginal tax will uh, benefit Mesquite? So, um, so are you asking me um, about my affiliation with the union? First and foremost, I'll disclose that my husband's a union plumber and it's fed my family quite well for many years. Um, and it's working wages, so I'm never going to feel um, bad about supporting working wages. Um, on the margins tax, here's what I'll say. Uh, we all needed services within Nevada. There was no secret walking into the session that we were gonna have a shortfall of $400 million. And let me tell you what was gonna get cut first, everything you care about in Mesquite, because those were that was the easiest place to go in and, and cut in the rural areas. Um, but we needed a long-term plan because on the boom and bust cycle, every single time, um, we, we have issues. So trying to find a tax that made sense. And, you know, here's what I would explain to folks. Nobody likes new taxes. I don't like new taxes, but we all got to pay them for the services that we want and hold folks accountable to the services. But the difference with the margins tax is this. Um, all of those new retailers that you see, the fancy <coughs> shops and at the premium outlaw malls and all of them, let me just tell you the truth of what was going on. So they only paid $200 for all of their shops. So, and I don't like to call out in particular shops, so I'll just say ABC Shop had 10 places in Las Vegas, 20 places in um, you know, Clark County, 12 places in Washoe County. They paid $200, period, dot, dash. That's all they paid. People don't realize that, right? But the busiest um, Starbucks, um, he said it's not me, <laughs> the busiest Starbucks, but they paid $200 for all of their locations within the state of Nevada. So we had to come up with something that made sense to get, to have a, a level playing field, some parity, so that folks knew that um, Everybody had to pay because a mom and pop, the little restaurant that I ate at last Sunday, they had, they too had to pay that two hundred dollars. They were paying the same amount as all of those big retailers, and that's where this um, new—it's uh, called a commerce tax, not a margins tax. It's called a commerce tax because it's much different than the margins tax that was out there. And what I would say is, um, we had to have a steady revenue source, and the, it allows for growth. It allows for stability for the long term. In the short term, it's sixty million dollars. It allows for um, it allows for incentive, I guess, to say if you hire employees and you can write off your employees. It allows for um, health care benefits. All of those things that many of you are already providing. So, I think that having a steady revenue source for the state of Nevada, and we got to remember the state of Nevada is going to be beneficial for the long term. Whether folks agree or disagree, um, we had to do something. You know, um, you guys had a mental health coordinator out here, Brad, and he was going to be cut right away and sent to Henderson. He lives here. He's invested in the community. I was able to call the state so that we could keep him here at least one day a week um, and work towards keeping him here on a full-time basis. But many of those positions had we not passed a steady revenue source, would have definitely um, not benefited. And I want to remind folks that it's a $4 million threshold. That is a big threshold compared to where we were with all of the other conversations. Whether it's a popular answer or not, I will always tell the truth. So uh, I will, um, but because I think once folks understand, um, then it's a little bit easier. Any other things? Okay, well, you all know how to reach me. Um, please reach out. Um, I um, like new ideas. I like to try things. We're working on some different ways to get you the infrastructure that you need out here. I think you have a lot of opportunities, especially in the sports world that is big in Mesquite and has been for many years. So if I can ever be a resource, I'll be around. And um, I just want to help you thrive and um, be who you are. And you're unique. Um, you're wonderful, and a lot of people um, can benefit with you coming. So, thank you.